We're just going to start up with a short video, and then we'll do a little bit of intro and then set up the demo uh, for you. Business applications are becoming more social and collaborative. The problem is, applications are still missing one capability at the heart of business collaboration, real-time video. And that creates a disruption in your application's workflow. Why is that? It's because enterprise video is difficult to deploy and requires complex real-time infrastructure. But what if it didn't? What if you could easily integrate real-time video into your business application, making it available securely to anyone on any device and on any network? Well, now you can with Wemo, the cloud-based video collaboration solution that can be integrated in any application. Here's how it works. You embed Wemo into your existing business application, whether desktop, tablet, or mobile. All it takes is a few lines of code, and multi-party video is enabled seamlessly. Users can then start or join a live video collaboration right from their current screen. No one has to leave your application, switch browsers, or even devices. They just click, and they're in, uninterrupted, without having to leave what they are working on. It's easy for you, and even easier for end users. To see how you can embed Wemo in your business application, contact us at Wemo.com to get started. Empower your business application now by providing effective collaboration without disrupting workflow. Great. Well, thank you for uh, paying attention for those uh, 90 seconds. My name is Sofian Hori, and uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of an intro of the company, who we are. Uh, we're just launching actually uh, this, uh, this month. Um, we are a company that's been around for, um, oops, excuse me. Uh, company has been around for about uh, a few years, and it's not showing up. How's that? All right, we're just going to go the old way here. OK, so Wemo is an API vendor, basically a cloud-based API uh, vendor for real-time video communication, uh, for video collaboration and video conferencing embedded into business applications. As you'll see in the demo, um, we're, we don't provide an, an actual standalone product. It's, uh, it's code um, either on web-based applications or mobile applications that allow real-time video Leveraging WebRTC where it's possible, and also uh, leveraging a real-time communication stack uh, that is uh, web-enabled uh, where it's not possible. So first, um, just to give you a little bit of background, the company is, uh, was founded in 2007. Uh, the first product sold was in 2010, um, mostly as a B2B play. And uh, we're a VC-funded company. The last round uh, that we did actually is allowing us to launch here in the US as well as uh, establish operations in uh, San Francisco, uh, where a French-based company originally. Uh, 20 employees, and you can imagine that about uh, 50 of those are with a telecom background, and 50 of those are in a software background uh, and a web background. So our, uh, our real uh, differentiator is the ability to actually marry those two worlds, because that's where we're here uh, to talk about mainly is this real-time communications impacting uh, the software and the web world. So, oops. Those are slides I was supposed to skip. So uh, let me just uh, jump into uh, the, this architecture that you guys are going to see in this demo. This is a real life demo. We're going to do it in two phases if we have enough time, hopefully, now that we've wasted a few seconds. Um, basically, web, uh, the web app uh, is layered over uh, a JavaScript library that we deliver uh, by the name of Wemo.js. Uh, and if we identify that the browser has the capability to actually uh, do real time communications, as uh, in this particular case, uh, Chrome, then we'll leverage a real-time communication stack that's available. And where it's not available, then we lay down a uh, pretty lightweight driver that is not Flash-based, nor Java, nor ActiveX. None of those, basically a, a proprietary uh, stack that, is, uh, that gets installed and is communicating back to, the, to our cloud infrastructure. So with that, we can switch over to, um, to the live demo that Mathieu is going to go through here. 
And just to set the stage, what we have integrated, or actually a partner of ours has integrated our APIs into their enterprise social platform called Exo Platform. Uh, it's an it's a integration that was done in a matter of hours. In fact, and there are testimonials out there on YouTube and other places uh, that, that actually talk about uh, how this integration was done. Uh, and leveraging the chat module, we can, with a single click of a button, call a WebRTC endpoint uh, from uh, one WebRTC uh, device to a non-WebRTC device. So on the left screen, you see an Internet Explorer window on your, uh, well, on your left, sorry, uh, a Chrome window. On your right, a, uh, an Internet Explorer window. And we're going to actually have a uh, real-life peer-to-peer uh, call that is happening without any gateway, without any transcoding, in pure VP8 codec um, and uh, an Opus uh, codec for, for audio. So let's kick it off. As you can see, obviously, your typical uh, authorization, a little French UI there. And you see the call coming in. We just cut off the audio so that we don't uh, kill you with the uh, with little uh, weird sounding uh, voices. And uh, as you can see from the on your right, this is uh, the communication happening on Internet Explorer to a web RTC enable uh, browser um, on your left. So that's demo number one. Of course, we have full capabilities to do uh, screen sharing and so on. We're going to keep it. Just as at this point for this particular demo, we're going to switch over to a multi-party video that is now actually going to pull in users from, uh, from San Francisco. So if you bear with me one second. And just to set the stage for this particular demo, in fact, what I'm going to do is, um, is do a demo. Uh, if we can switch to uh, number two, please. This, uh, to set the stage, the integration was done as a VMware uh, Zimbra Zimlet. Uh, we've uh, basically de developed, again, in a matter of hours, uh, an integration into, into VMware. By simply hovering over uh, a particular user, I can go and directly do a, a, a video chat, a point-to-point -point call in this case, uh, using either WebRTC. In this case, obviously, since I'm on Safari, it will not, WebRT it will not be WebRTC on my end. And when I establish it on the other end of the communication, it will be WebRTC. Um, on the, uh, and the other option is to actually do it through a, uh, a conference call, as, uh, as you will see here in a, in a minute. So instead of actually kicking off an, a point-to-point -point call, what I'm going to do is I'm going to host a group video chat. And uh, if all goes well, everybody should be already on the bridge. Not everybody, actually. It's a little surprise. Oh, there he is. Hey, guys. Can you hear me? Hey. Can you hear us? Excellent. So uh, this, is, uh, this is two of our uh, esteemed colleagues that are, that are sitting in our San Francisco office. And in about a couple seconds, uh, one of our other colleagues will be calling to this particular conference. Uh, and then you'll see the, the next kind of call flow that ensued, uh, that it will ensue from that. So there we go. We've got a call coming in. Uh, Bear in mind, all these users are actually on their VMware Zimbra uh, mail client, which is basically a communications platform that they use on a day-to-day. -day. Um, so I'll answer this call. Of course, while I do that, uh, that, that other conference was put on hold uh, while, I, uh, while I answered uh, Adrien. Hi, Adrien. How are you? Hi, everybody. Fine, fine. All right, excellent. So uh, he can't see you, so just uh, you know, smile anyway. But uh, here we go. We're going to just join him into the conference with a click of a button. And voila. We've got um, basically a four-way uh, video conference going in. Uh, and Adrien is going to share his screen with us so that we can actually show you the full-blown demo with, uh, with screen sharing. I actually have additional host controls here as an administrator or as a host of the call where I can actually mute cert certain participants. Uh, I can um, uh, mute their audio. I can mute their uh, speakers as well so they don't actually listen to what I'm saying. Uh, these, all these controls are actually available here, but we're not going to spend any time doing that. Um, so there you have it. And by the way, this connection, uh, as you can see here, is done uh, using this little MiFi device. 
Um, so just FYI, I'm not wired anywhere here. This is, this is a real, real video uh, going on between here in Atlanta and, and San Francisco. So there you have it, 34 seconds to spare. Thank you. <laughs>